What is up, my dear friends and family? I'm Charmic. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Annoying Customers by The Odd Ones Out. Now, I'm not really sure what to expect from this, but I have had my share of dealing with annoying customers when I worked at some fast food restaurants. And, uh, yeah, I'm assuming this is going to be something similar to that. But with that being said, the original links in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to The Odd Ones Out. And without any further ado, let's begin. Hey, this is kind of like a part two video. I mean, you don't have to have seen the part one video to understand what I talk about in this video. But, I mean, if you haven't watched part one, uh... You should. So I used to work at Subway, and to be honest, about 80% of the customers were fine. Sometimes they would do something that would just personally annoy me, like ask for a meatball on flatbread. So don't feel too bad for me. Like sometimes people would ask me, can I have a turkey with lettuce, tomatoes? Whoa, 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 slow down. What kind of bread? Foot long or six inch? What kind of cheese? Is it toasted? Then we'll talk about vegetables. And every time someone brought in a list, there would always be something missing on it. Always. I never had someone come in with a complete list. I would ask someone, what kind of cheese and they would say ah they didn't specify well then if they didn't care enough to remember cheese i guess they'll get swiss if <laughs> swiss is great how could you complain if you get swiss cheese anyone watching is currently working at a subway then feel free to use these tricks if someone asked me hmm what kind of cheese do you recommend i would always say provolone because it's the easiest cheese to pull apart with gloves on really if anyone asked <laughs> me what i recommended i would just tell them the easiest thing for me to do but even after i gave my insightful provolone cheese recommendation sometimes people would still say mm. I'll take American. Why do you even ask me what cheese I would recommend if you're not going to take it seriously? Another thing that would annoy me is when people would say the sandwich was all done, but they didn't put any sauce on it. So I would ask, any sauce? And then they would be like, oh yeah, mayonnaise. Oh, why did you tell me it was all done if it wasn't? Also the receipt... You're getting a little bit riled up here. Calm down. Calm down. The machine at the store took like seven seconds to print out the receipt. So it would be very awkward every time I would ask people, do you want your receipt? And then they would say yes. And then we would just stare at each other. <laughs> the receipt printed. So what I did every time someone swiped their credit card, I would just stare off into space. And in my head, I would count to five. And then I would ask, do you want your receipt? And by the time they said yes, it was like magic. As soon as they said yes, the receipt printed. At Subway, you only work with one other person. So if someone got annoyed and said, let me talk to your manager, I would just look at them and go, listen, I've been here the longest. The only other person in this store is a 16-year-old girl, and she technically isn't old enough to use a toaster, so I'm probably your best bet. I you have to be a certain age to use a toaster? What? If that's true, that's very odd. I'm the manager. Like, do people think the manager will automatically take their side and give them free stuff? Yes, actually, they do think that because yes. it happens all the time. I would consider myself a pretty laid-back Subway employee. I didn't like to be stingy with people, even though I was disobeying the Subway formula on purpose. Oh, you want more than six olives on your foot long? Pfft, sure. Here, have a fifth slice of cheese. A dollar fifty for avocado? Pfft. I'll charge you 75 cents, buddy. I probably shouldn't be saying these things, you know, in case this whole YouTube thing flops and I need a job. So I wasn't really strict on the rules. You know those fast food workers who are strict? No, we won't serve breakfast at 10.02. Get out. But being pretty laid back still didn't stop people from being annoying. So this- Yeah, I've had my fair share of experiences dealing with, like, annoying people. Like, I remember at my first job, you'd have some really weird experiences. Like, I remember some lady came in once. I don't know what was wrong with her, but she started crying at one point. And she was like screaming as well. It was. <laughs> what a nightmare. What a nightmare. This one person comes in and asks for two foot long pastrami sandwiches. And pastrami is our most expensive sandwich. It's about $10 for a foot long. And guys, the pastrami wow. is super good. But I wouldn't pay for it. I mean, it's good, yeah, but I'm not paying $10 for a foot long. It's not worth it. So do Subway uh, employees get like a discount? So, you know, instead of $10, it might be like 7 or 6 So this guy, I make his two sandwiches, I ring him up and I say, that'll be $20. And I guess he didn't look at the price of the sandwich on the menu, or he thought we still did the $5 footlongs, because he said to me, I ain't paying for that. And this is when I was just starting out. I only had like a week of experience. And after he oh, said wow. that, I responded, well, shoot. I guess you're not paying for it. I didn't know people could do that. Hey, I want this. All right, that's $20. <laughs> nah, you don't want it? No, I want it. I'm just not paying for it. Okay, no, but actually, we did come up with a compromise. He told me that he had $12, so he ended up paying for one of the sandwiches, and I got to eat the other one. So it all worked out. This one time I was making- You got it free? 
Lucky. A sandwich for a guy with a very heavy accent, and he asks for onions on the side. No big deal. We at Suabway put vegetables in little cups all the time. I actually got a soup cup because the on the side cups are teeny tiny, and I start doing my thing, but then he says, no, on the side. And I think, oh, he's getting a foot long. He probably wants onions on half of it, but not the other. So I start putting onions on half the sub, but then again, he says, no, on the side. At this point, I don't know what this guy wants. So I ask him, on the side of what? And then he screams, onions! And I never figured out what he was trying to say. <laughs> this one old gentleman asks for sauce to be put on his vegetables, and normally we put it on top of the sandwich with the meat. And I didn't know if I heard him correctly, because I put the sauce on, and then I closed the sandwich. So your sauce would have been in the same place either way. One time, this woman tipped me and Corey $40. She wasn't annoying, I just want to sprinkle in some good customer stories. Okay, one time- You got tipped $40? At Subway? That's like enough to buy the majority of the menu. That's crazy. I'm this uh, Native American person came in and I don't know if mentioning that was important to the story. He comes in and asks for five foot long tunas. Okay, Tyler, just me and you, let's do this. And then when we're all finished, we ring him up and we say, anything else? And he says, seven meatballs. What? Oh, you wanted wow. seven more sandwiches. But James, you're Suabway. You're supposed to make people sandwiches regardless of how many they ask for. Yeah, I know, but the guy could have handled it differently. Normally for a platter, you have to call in at least an hour ahead. And that's only five foot longs. This guy could have <laughs> called ahead and said, Hey, I'm getting 12 sandwiches, so just prepare yourselves. Mentally. I mean, we had so many customers waiting in line. No, we didn't. That's a lie. It was only him. But still, this one woman that was making her sandwich and for vegetables, she asked for extra lettuce. So I put on a big handful, but then she asks for more. So I put more on, more, and sprinkle some on, more! Uh, I won't be able to close the sandwich with any more lettuce. And she says, that's fine. All right, extra lettuce it is. So I ended up giving her an open sandwich with a mountain of lettuce. Y you know we do sa That's weird, that's weird. Then again, when I go to Subway, or I haven't gone, I haven't gone to Subway in like six months or something, but when I do go, I normally ask for extra lettuce too, because I want it to be like, you know, argh, nice and meaty. Well, I guess lettucey would be the right word. Salads, right? When I was little, I, I always thought if I was working at a store and someone tried to rob me, I wouldn't give them any money. But now it's like, psh, I ain't risking my life for Suabway. Here, take the cash register. So thankfully, <laughs> I've never had anyone pull a gun on me, but I have caught people stealing from us. I was making someone's sandwich, and this one kid asks for just a water cup, so I gave it to him. So I go back to making a sandwich, and I just hear the fuzzy soda sounds being dispensed. And I look over, and the kid is putting soda in the cup. He didn't even try to hide it. When I put soda in a water cup, I at least wait for the employees to go in the back, but I didn't even say anything. I was just like, all right, man. This guy, I totally saw him take a <laughs> chips, and he hid it under the counter so I couldn't see. So when I rang up his sandwich, I asked, anything else? And he said, nope. All right, whatever. Okay, last story. I was... <laughs> the places I've worked at, I don't think I've experienced anything like that where, you know, people would just blatantly steal and I wouldn't care. Then again, since I never had that experience, I don't know if I would have cared or not. I mean, getting paid minimum wage doesn't give me much of a reason to care. I was in the back, and I was playing some Clash of Clans, and we have a computer that shows what the cameras see, and I see this woman who was eating there. She reached over the counter and took three large cups, and I did nothing to stop it. You know, I'm the kind <laughs> of person that's like, the fast food employee is always right. Say if I was eating somewhere, and I asked for a chicken salad, and they said, we only have tuna salad. I'm the kind of person that's like, oh, well, I guess I'm having the tuna salad then. I think people need to realize that these fast food workers are, are actually people and not something for you to use to get a free sandwich. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. This is quite funny and at the same time really relatable to me as I've had to deal with a lot of bad customers. And here's another kind of like story. I was working at another fast food restaurant and some guy wanted fries and I don't know what was happening. But he started yelling, and he was, like, threatening the managers all over fries. I mean, I like fries, don't get me wrong. But not enough to threaten someone, which, you know, if you're threatening someone, you could go to jail over. I don't think I like fries enough to get me arrested. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you did like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, pause and share with a friend. If you're new, and subscribe and join the family today. And also, make sure you go subscribe to the Odd Ones Out. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop.